Today I'm going to be showing you my five favorite templates for Microsoft Teams in Power Automate. Let's go check it out. So here we are in Power Automate. And if you've seen my last few videos, I've shown you a couple of ways to create your own flows. But actually, if you look at Power Automate, there are a bunch of templates already in there that you can start using right away. And I'm going to show you a couple of my favorites. So let's start with post a mic post on Microsoft Teams when a new tweet matches the specific hashtag. So whenever a tweet comes in uh, on a, a certain topic and I'm logged into my uh, Twitter account, this is my Microsoft Teams account, I click continue. And here you can say, and let's use uh, Microsoft. You can use this for tweets on your brand or, or stuff you might want to know about. Uh, and then here in the uh, different teams, you find your own team. Uh, I've created a team just for this uh, video and the channel. Let's go with tweets and then you paste the tweet text in here. This is already pre-populated, so you don't have to do anything. You click save and now this is already done. So if we go back to uh, Teams, there's a hidden channel right here that says tweets. And if in the next few minutes, somebody uh, uh, posts a tweet, posts a tweet with the uh, name Microsoft in it, well, it'll see, uh, we'll see it here popping up in, the, uh, in, my, uh, in my Teams. Let's hope that happens in the next uh, few minutes. Another one that I uh, really enjoy is uh, post a message to a team when a new task in Planner is created. Now, again, if you see my previous videos, you know that I'm a uh, fanatic Planner user for all of my uh, to-dos. Again, you simply click on the template. Uh, you click continue. As you can see, I'm already logged in uh, right here. Again, this happens automatically. I uh, click uh, continue. So here you simply select the uh, uh, the board that you already have uh, open. So in my case, the YouTube tasks board, uh, you select the team that you want uh, this to happen in. So my favorite power automates uh, the channel planner messages in my case. And this stuff right here below is already pre-populated. So now whenever somebody adds a task to uh, this, uh, this planner board, I'll automatically get a notification in uh, Microsoft Teams. Now, the third one, uh, which uh, relates to this one, is you can create a task straight from a message in Teams. So let's say somebody says something and you want to create a task in Planner straight away. Uh, uh, you simply click on the three dots and I'll show you how that works in a, in a second. Again, um, you're already logged in. Only thing you have to do is click uh, continue. Uh, use the uh, uh, group ID, uh, favorite YouTube Power Automates, my plan ID, my task board, this stuff is pre-populated. Uh, you could even uh, identify buckets if you've set up buckets on your uh, uh, on your uh, uh, planner board. In my case, uh, the only the uh, to do here, you could um, manually um, configure this to give it a, a certain start date. Uh, you can be real uh, real creative with this, and this stuff is already pre-populated. So now we click uh, save. This is uh, saved, and uh, as soon as it's done, we'll go into Teams. We'll find a message. We'll click on the three dots right here. Go on the more actions and then see more. And you will see create a task. Now this is coming from Power Automate, as you can see by the uh, by the logo. Uh, we click here and give it a name. Um, um, I forgot what the message was, but follow up on PPT. Uh, set a due date. Uh, the due date is today, you click submit, and now automatically based on this message, we've created an action in our tasks in uh, in uh, Planner. Now, the last one is uh, on Planner at least, is post a daily message to Microsoft Teams with Planner tasks due tomorrow. I like this a lot. I uh, I have some rhythm build up where I go into my, uh, my Planner tasks uh, daily, uh, but if you are struggling to get that rhythm going, uh, you can use this and the uh, and the uh, um, the notification every day when a uh, uh, it'll let you know when the new task is uh, due. So we'll click Plan ID. This is the task board. Again, this is all pre-populated. Only thing you have to do is uh, fill this stuff uh, out. Uh, planner messages. We'll click save, and again. Every day, uh, you'll get an update on the messages that have to be completed during that during that day. 
Now the third one is to post an adaptive card, or this is the fourth one, post an adaptive card to Teams when a new response is submitted. So let's say you have created a, a form in uh, Forms and uh, you don't want to keep track, you don't want to go back to Forms all day, but you want uh, the uh, every time a new response is submitted, you want a pop-up with an adaptive card in uh, Teams. Again, super easy, you just click on the, uh, on the template. Again, you have to authenticate, this happens automatically. You select the uh, form, and in my case, it's the YouTube test. You select where you want this to be posted. My favorite, Power Automates, the channel that you want this to be posted in. Uh, we'll put it in general. You click save, and then again, that's all you have to do. Now let's go into forms. Uh, now let's go in here. My name is Michel. Uh, does pineapple belong on a pizza? I don't think so, but I still eat it. So let's select maybe. We've selected maybe, uh, response was submitted. Now, if we go back into Microsoft Teams, and then you'll see, hey, there's an update for uh, Microsoft Forms. A new response was submitted. And again, this is done by Power Automate. Another one that I like a lot is a follow up on a message. So you've all been there where somebody sends you a message on Teams. You don't want to forget about it, but you're in your flow. You don't want to work on this message right away. Uh, you can now follow up on a message with this, uh, with this template. Um, continue and as you see all of this stuff is uh, super easy to uh, to configure uh, you could even edit the uh, adaptive card if you uh, if you want to uh, set up the or change the interval if you uh, if you want to um, and we can look at this real quick we can look at the adaptive card real quick so you can see uh, what's in there 20 minutes one hour three hours tomorrow in a week uh, you can change all of these uh, different fields if you uh, if you want to, but let's not for this example. Again, all you have to do is click save. And there we are. So now let's go back to Teams. Uh, we'll pick this message again. We'll click on the three dots. We'll click more actions. We'll click on the three dots. We'll click more actions. I'll follow up on a message. Let's say one minute, we're going to submit this one. And then in one minute, we'll get a pop up saying, hey, uh, Michelle, don't forget. Or in this case, Alex, don't forget uh, about this uh, message that was just uh, posted for me. Super easy and convenient because I don't want to forget about the important teams messages that are being sent to me. Then the final one that I really like is schedule a meeting with a message sender. I like this in scenarios where I'm chatting with somebody and, and we say, hey, okay, so let's set up a, a meeting. You don't have to go into your calendar. You can do this straight from, uh, from Teams. Um, so this is, the, uh, this is the template. Again, all of this stuff is pre-populated, so you don't have to do anything. Uh, select the uh, calendar, uh, select the time zone. So I'm in Central European Standard Time. Uh, we're gonna click Create. Again, done, all set, set up. Now, if we go back into Teams and I find somebody that has sent a message and I'll go into one of the uh, demo tenants. By the way, here's the reminder of the uh, uh, of the reminder that we just said earlier. Now, let's see if we can schedule something with Megan. Click on the three dots. We'll go into more actions, see more, schedule the one-to-one -one with the message sender. And now you can schedule the meeting straight from Teams and you don't have to go back into the uh, calendar. Now, before we close, let's go right here into the uh, chat. You can see the activity popped up as well. And then here's the reminder that we said saying, uh, here's a reminder to follow up on this message from uh, Alex. So there you have it. And as you can see, it's super simple to set up these templates as a lot of stuff is already pre-populated. Now be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel. And I'm looking forward to seeing you on the next one.